Shriek. Dang, 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 dang. Zah. The Origami Minecraft Diamond Gold Silver Sword. Yes, you guessed it. It looks like a diamond sword. And today I'm going to show you how to fold this diamond sword. Okay? So, for this, you need a sheet of foil paper or any other paper. And you can also use both side color paper. And let's see, this is the diamond, which you can fold back and forth. Diamond. Yay! Okay, so for this diamond sword, I'm gonna use a foil sheet of paper, green foil, for the diamond. Okay, the diamond sword paper. Okay, so let's turn over to the white side and start up by holding the corner to the upper side and the both the corners and fold diagonally half the paper like this. Now we're going to unfold it and rotate and repeat on this side like this. All right, and now we're going to unfold, and now we're going to take this edge, okay, we're going to lift it up from the corner, and fold this edge up to the center line, like this. And for this model, you need really sharp creases to just make your model look better, okay, like this. And now rotate and repeat. Alright, now we're gonna unfold these. Okay, and rotate the paper in this side and repeat over here. So we're gonna hold at the corner and pull this edge up and fold it up to the middle line. Okay. So we are like here. Right there. Okay. Now rotate and repeat over here. All right, now unfold this and unfold this. And now we're gonna make a rabbit ear fold, one on this side. So, see, you can see this crease right here, the center one, just pinch it like this. And now, as you can see, these um, half diamond creases, these two creases, we're gonna just fold among them, pushing this corner, and we're gonna fold both the creases to on the middle line, okay? So this is called a rabbit ear or the half fish base. Why half? Because we have not done on the this side. So now we're going to make the another half of it. So first pinch this corner on the crease. And now pinch it and now fold these up like that. Perfect. All right. So this is a fish base, it's called a fish base, okay? Now we're gonna flap in both of them here and here. Okay, so they just stand up like this. Dun, dun, dun. All right, now comes a tricky step, the sink fold. So first we're gonna fold these um, to one of the sides like this, and now it's a diamond. <laughs> And now we're gonna get this corner, see, as you can see, this corner, and we're gonna fold it up to the middle line where this crease and this edge intersect that middle point. We're gonna touch that. Okay, so let me zoom in. And it's like that. Now rotate. And repeat over here, so we're going to fold this corner up to the middle line. Oh, 
All right. Now what we are going to do? Unfold this and unfold this. Now unfold this and unfold this. Okay, so now you can see one triangle. Okay? So, let me mark it. Okay, this is a bamboo pen. So, this right here is one triangle. Okay? And over here, this is another triangle. So, we're gonna just sink on that fold. You can see there. So, turn over to the colored side of the paper. And now, we're gonna get your pinches out, means these two fingers are gonna just get a practice. And now, on this crease, we're gonna just mountain. Repeat here, mountain. Okay, till this point, okay? We're gonna get till that point over there. Okay, now rotate and now you can see this slant increase is pinch over there now. Okay, till where? Till this point. Okay, where the crease ends, till there, stop. Now rotate and go on this crease right there, okay? Just go right there. And now we're gonna reform the fish base. So fold these here and here. And now as you can see, a 3D or a triangle forms in between. And now what we're gonna do is, you can see this, these edges right here, okay? And this line or this crease, we can say. Now we're gonna just pinch them together and bring them these two edges together on this line so the fold should form in that line so one two three till there now here pinch these two edges together and the fold should form on this line so one okay two three and now these two edges and the fold should form on that line as you can see there one two three and there you have it your sink is done okay so now you can see just a little bit of um, portion of the crease okay it has this reduced because we have tucked it in this much part and now we're gonna repeat the whole thing on this side on this triangle so turn over and Pinch, 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 stop till there. Now repeat right here. Pinch, 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 stop right there. Okay, and now right here on this crease, okay, along the triangle. One, two, three. Okay, now again, we're gonna reform the fish base. Okay. And now, we're going to get these two edges together and the fold should form on this line. These two edges together and the fold should form on this line. And these two edges together and the fold should form on this line. Okay, so let's start. First, push this in. Okay, push, push, push. Okay, now start. One, two, three. Stop. On the middle line, we're going to stop it right there. Okay, on that middle line. Okay, stop. Uh, just to get it. Okay, now here. One, two, three. And same right here. One, two, three. <laughs> Done. Okay, now again, these flaps stick out. And guess what are they? Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Ta da! Time over. These are the handles of the sword, or what What are these called? I don't know. But these parts of the sword are these two. Okay, so we're going to just not get it like that. Okay, now again comes the tricky step. Now, uh, the first thing you have to do is decide which one will be the sword part and which one will be the bottom, the holding part. The handle okay this part 
So I'm choosing this as the sword part and this as the handle part. So now this is a sword part. I'm gonna um, move your attention to that part. Fold these edges down. Okay. Um, down to the handle part. And now right here, what, what we're gonna do is turn over the paper. Now fold this corner to the middle line and fold all of the edge to the middle line. So let's start. So till that point where that flap comes out, we're gonna get it till there. So one, okay, like this, and two. Okay, now right here, it goes on this cre crease and we're, we are perfect right there. We're gonna do one fold on that crease like this okay now the sword and now repeat up right here okay first let's do this part so now if we want to get it right here the handle um, these parts you have to repeat it right here so let's start by getting this upper edge to the crease so one and two and now end it right there that point <clears throat> all right now this is this word part as you can see it's um the distance is reduced okay now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do the same thing on the handle part so turn over and fold this edge to the middle line and this will take time for you right okay and now end the fold right here so like that and beat over here All right, and end it there. Okay, we're almost done with the small sword, as you can see. And now, see these edges automatically stretch out. Now, just what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these edges behind and fold these over here. So just pull them out. Okay, so just pull them out and release. Now what we're gonna do is, <laughs> again, we're gonna take this edge and fold it up to that edge. So just, or you can do it shorter way. So I'm doing about this much, just make it shorter, okay? Okay, now see, a rabbit ear, and now push it there. That's all. And repeat. So fold it and end the fold right here. Okay, that point. And now it will automatically go there. Like this. Okay, now this part, see, it bulges out. What we're gonna do with that is just mount and fold this. Okay. And now fold this edge up to that point so we're gonna value fold it so see here um, okay just first fold it down like this okay this is there and now fold now this edge up taking this board up okay just hide it beneath the part which is sticking out okay like that okay and repeat it right here so see this bulging part right here where the corner swings out to that point it will bulge out okay like this and now mount and fold between that two points and fold the remaining part behind and now um, fold this edge up to the point 
swinging the flap back up. And now hide these inside these flaps, which are sticking out. Okay, like that, just hide beneath them. Okay, and same thing here, and done. Okay, now see these extra parts? Just fold them behind. Okay, just hide them. Okay. Okay. And repeat over here. See, this, this is the extra part. Just fold it behind. Like this. Okay, see the weird side. Black side. Okay, so now see which side is longer. Just tell to me. This side is shorter, this side is longer. So, which is the longer side will be the sword, and which is the shorter side, which will be the handle. Guessed it. Alright, so this will be the handle because it's the short side. Okay, so let's begin with the handle. First, fold this flap behind between these two points. Okay, now turn over. Again, fold this edge up where the point is, is okay. And now we're going to fold um, this edge up so that this edge touches the middle line, like this, and this edge touches the middle line. Like this. Now see, this is the diamond. Okay, let me reduce this. Okay. So now to, for you to hold it, just make a small curve, mountain curve, like this, and repeat it right here. Make a small curve. And this is how you can hold it. Alright, this is all about the handle. Now, go ahead with the sword. And nothing to do with the sword, you're right. The sword is ready. Yeah. So this is voila the diamond sword. Chitsum Oh it looks very see the edges of the foil paper are so much tight that they, they can cut yeah our fingers. See you can you can see the edges. You can't see the edges. Talk. Alright. Now, if you want the diamond to shine, just fold these edges out, a little bit out. Okay, but I don't want the diamond, because this is, the sword is made of diamond, am I right? Okay, so this is the diamond sword, or the balancing diamond sword. Okay, so you can try balancing it, and it, it can also be a flicker, I think. One, yeah. So this is the sword flicker. Okay, look okay, at this. The curves messed up. All right. So, so, <laughs> all right. So this is the diamond sword, the two diamond sword. Teleport. Bye. Bye.